Over the years, composite materials have seen increasing use in our everyday lives. They serve as a strong and lightweight alternative to traditional materials. Some of the most common examples include reinforced concrete used in construction, plywood used in home flooring, and carbon fiber reinforced polymers used in aircraft, automobiles, and even sporting equipment. However, there is still much more to composites that needs to be understood fundamentally for them to reach their full potential. My name is Alex and I am a research assistant under the supervision of Dr. Garrett Malenka at the Malenka Research Group at the Lausanne School of Engineering at York University. My part of the research involves applying digital image correlation as a method of measurement in mechanical testing of composite materials. Composites are a class of engineering materials which are composed of multiple constituent materials from other classes. In many cases, a composite consists of a fiber material embedded within a matrix material. Composites have many advantageous properties over traditional materials, namely that they are lightweight, have a favorable strength to weight ratio, and are resistant to corrosion. The mechanical properties of a material can be determined through mechanical testing, such as tensile tests, tribology tests, and impact tests. For composites, however, due to their complex nature, direct measurement from a testing apparatus alone may not provide all the information we need to fully understand their behavior, and additional means of measurement would be required. One such possible method is three-dimensional digital image correlation, or 3DDIC, an optical method of measuring 3D deformation and strain during a mechanical test. It typically employs two high-speed cameras separated by a stereo angle, such that two different angular perspectives of a test specimen can be captured to construct a 3D representation of it. Image pairs from the two cameras are then processed using software such as LaVision DeViz, from which 3D displacement vector fields can then be generated. This method, however, is often very difficult to employ. High-speed cameras are very expensive, therefore greatly limiting accessibility of the necessary equipment. In addition, calibrating and synchronizing multiple high-speed cameras, two crucial steps in the standard 3D DIC procedure, prove to be very challenging and time-consuming tasks, therefore limiting the practicality of using the method, especially in tighter time constraints. This therefore invokes an objective to design a setup for 3D DIC using only one high-speed camera, which is to be achieved using an optical configuration, specifically one using four planar mirrors. Some advantages to this over other configurations are that the components are not as specialized and therefore easier to access, and that in using it, the issue of image degradation due to ambient light is prevented. One major disadvantage, however, is that the resolution of each sub-image is halved by default, therefore limiting the degree of precision in measurement. To determine suitable values for parameters such as mirror orientation, distances between objects, and virtual stereo angle, optical calculations and SOLIDWORKS sketch tools were used. Shown here is the assembly model of the setup. It uses optomechanical components such as an optical breadboard, rails, translation stages, posts, and mirror mounts. This allows the setup parameters to be easily modified in accordance to the requirements for the experiment. The cost for this optical setup is around $2,300, which is less than 2.5% of the price of a Phantom model high-speed camera. The resulting 3D DIC setup is therefore around half the price of the standard 3D DIC approach. The next step is to investigate the effectiveness of the single camera 3D DIC approach when compared to standard 3D DIC measurements. This will be done in conjunction with Sharpie impact testing of FDM manufactured composites, the objective of which being to analyze the effects of print parameters, such as print infill or fiber orientation on the impact behavior of the material. This research emphasizes the role of new measurement techniques in analyzing materials with fundamentally complex structures. This can help accelerate the development of new materials as well as their implementation into engineering industries of the future. Thank you for watching.